Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for Grade 4, Chapter 4, Lesson 7, The Distributive Property. Page number is 235. Guys, in this lesson, like we are multiplying, for example, 6 times 12, so we use the distributive property. Distributive property means what? We break the bigger number into two parts, like 6 times 12, so we decompose 12 into 10 plus 2. 12 is 10 plus 2. Similarly, for example, if you have 13, so you will do it like this, 10 plus 3, according to the place values. The first one, ones and then tens. Okay. For example, if you have uh, 63, so you can do it like this, 60 plus 3. Or maybe you have 103, so you can do it 100 plus 3. Or, for example, you can also break it into three parts, but here in this lesson, we'll do it just for two parts. Let's say, let me show you the three parts. Let's say you have 163, so you will decompose it like this, 100 plus 60 plus 3 like the expanded form does okay now what do we do after decomposing see this we break the 12 into two parts 10 and 2 now first we multiply 6 with 10 because we are multiplying 6 with 12 so we will multiply 6 with 10 then 6 with 2 here 6 times 10 plus 6 times 2 6 times 10 60 6 times 2 12 and then we add both the answers 72. Next page, again here, this is the same example like last page. Okay, in this example, we are finding 27 times 5. So we break 27 into two parts, 20 and 7. And then we multiply 5 with 20 first and then 5 with 7. 20 times 5, 100, 7 times 5, 35. So the answer is 135. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, we are drawing an area model. This is the way of drawing how we break 12 into two parts, okay, 10 and 2. We give the greater part to 10, here we write it, okay, and the smaller part to 2. Now, what, with which number we are multiplying? 9, so we write it here. And these two boxes inside for answer. 9 times 10, 90, and 9 times 2, 18. And at the end, we will add our answers, 90 plus 80, 108. Similarly, this one, we draw an area model like this. We give, we break the 22 into two parts, 20 and 2. Give the bigger space to 20 and smaller one to 2. And with which number multiplying? 6. Write it here. 6 times 20, 120. 6 times 2, 12. 120 plus 12, 132. Next page, independent practice, you have to draw an area model. I will show you for this question, okay? And then remaining all you have to do by yourself and then you can match your answers from this video. See this? We will draw an area model like this, okay? Now you know that this is 32, so you will break it into two parts, 30 and 2. So you will give the bigger part to 30 and the smaller one 2 in between plus so 32 become 30 plus 2 with which number you are multiplying 7 so 7 here now you will write the answers inside these boxes okay 7 times 3 21 and 0 so 210 And 7 times 2, 14. 
and when you add both of them so 224 guys you have to draw area model like this for all the next questions okay and then you can match your answers from this video okay there is an area model already okay this is 17 we counted 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and 17 and the rows are 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 times 17 total how much you multiply it 102 Uh, Mr. Kellen bought four sheets of post-it stamps. Each sheet had 16 stamps. So four times 16 is 64. The world of maps store displays its maps on three shelves. There are 26 world maps. So three times 26, 78. So 78 world maps. Okay. Uh, Candice is finding 67 times 2. She thinks the product is 124. So let us find out the product is correct or no. They said use the area model. You can do it uh, by using the area model also as I showed you on the last page. Or you can do it directly like this. 67 times 2. 2 times 7. 14. 4 here. 1 up. And 2 times 6, 12, plus 1, 13. So the answer is not 124, it's 134. Uh, she forgot to regroup when multiplying the tens place. She forgot to add this one. 2 times 6, 12, so she write 124. She forgot to add this one, so this is her mistake. Uh, next one, guys, also write this for this question, okay? How can the distributive property help when you are multiplying by a two-digit number? It involves decomposing a factor by place value. The two resulting multiplication problems and addition problems can be done mentally. Right? Yeah, well. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. I hope you understand the lesson. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video. And subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Sai. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.